What becomes of life when you're all alone? I never would have asked myself this question. Being the last human on earth hasn't been easy. It's been hell, really. I'm not sure how it happened, but one day I woke up and everyone was gone. I drove for hours on the freeway, but there was no traffic. I searched all my neighbor's homes, nobody. All my neighbor's cars and homes are still there. All the roads are still paved, grass still grows, leaves still fall, but the world sits in a suspended silence unlike anything since the dawn of man. It's a pity that it took the disappearance of my race to make me realize how amazing the world is. And now that I can see its beauty, all I want is someone, anyone to share it with. But reality pulls me back, and any beauty that exists is swallowed by the infinite emptiness. I cling on to the hope that they'll return as quickly as they disappeared, that it isn't worldwide. But in the end, all I can do is hope. In an empty world, I can do anything, everything I've ever wanted. And yet, with no one around, I don't wanna do anything. It's a perfect paradox. I have some regrets. Some people I wish I could have spoken to before they disappeared forever. But none of that matters now. As much as I want to know what's happened and why, I can't go on. Was I really so blind to how much I needed those around me? Is life alone really so impossible? Am I so weak? Even in my utter aloneness, I can't do it. Because death is as mysterious as this empty life.
I am a fragment of a once dominant species, mankind's last remnant, a chronicler for a time gone by. Until I hear a knock at the door, a sound that has become so unfamiliar. What can it be? Another person? Wind? A product of my decaying mind? I have to know. Every impulse in my body is demanding that I stop. That I turn around. Leave this door. Return to the solitude I have become so accustomed to. Whatever is behind this door, my human instincts are telling me to stay away. But I've been alone too long.